everyone welcome back to my channel today i'll be sharing a recipe for guyanese style bora and chicken this is a guyanese classic it is super delicious and to get started here i have the chicken already well seasoned i'll show you guys how i did it in just a minute i also have the bora better known as chinese long bean already chopped i'll be using some carrots some uh, tomatoes i have bell peppers and onions as well as scallions parsley cilantro i have ginger and garlic some tomato sauce for the seasonings i'll be using you know my regular seasonings i usually use bouillon complete seasoning seasoned salt mushroom seasoning black pepper and brown sugar so let's rewind back to how i season the chicken first i wash these up in some vinegar and lemon juice and i'll be using some Guyanese style casserole this is like a browning agent. If you can't find this, you can use browning. I have some sazon, garlic and onion powder, seasoned salt, black pepper, bouillon, complete seasoning, and some fresh green seasoning. What I did was add all the ingredients to the chicken, mix really well, and cover, set aside to marinate for about 30 minutes. Usually I would go longer than that, but I was pressed for time. If you can allow yours to marinate longer, that will be best. To a preheated wok, I did add about two tablespoons of oil and now we'll go in with that chicken. We will give it a good mix, cover and allow it to simmer until all the moisture from the chicken has been released. So after about 10 minutes, you'll notice that the chicken has released a lot of moisture. What I like to do is allow that moisture to evaporate. So I will leave it uncovered and give it about 10 more minutes for that liquid to evaporate. So at this point, the chicken is fully cooked. So now we can start adding the rest of our ingredients. We'll start with our aromatics, then we'll add our tomatoes or herbs. We'll give it a good mix and we will allow it to go for about three to four minutes. So as you can see here, the tomatoes and the onions and stuff has created some more moisture and that's exactly what we're looking for. Now we will go in with our tomato sauce, give that a stir and then we will add our bora or long bean along with our carrots. We will also add our seasonings to add some flavor and taste. We will give it a good mix and we will cover and allow it to simmer on medium to low heat. So 10 minutes in, you want to go in there and give it a stir and a check just to make sure everything is being cooked evenly and that nothing is burning at the bottom. As you can see, I didn't have to add any liquid here because all of my ingredients are producing moisture and that's exactly what I like. I don't like my bora dry. I like it nice and saucy. And that's exactly what I'm getting here. Now we'll cover this and allow it to continue cooking to our desired texture. And here you have it guys. My bora and chicken is finally done. It smells and looks absolutely divine. And this is one of my absolute favorite Guyanese dishes guys. I love me some bora and chicken cooked anyhow. I have another video with bora and chicken cooked in coconut milk. You guys can check that out. Now, let me turn this heat off and plate up. Mm -hmm. 
So I did plate the boar and chicken up with some mashed sweet potatoes. This is like the Guyanese sweet potatoes, the Caribbean sweet potatoes. And let me tell you, it was so, so delicious. I'm trying to look snatched this summer. <laughs> so I'm trying to, you know, ease off on the rice a bit. So yeah, that's it. I hope you guys give the recipe a try. If you enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it, leave a comment down below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for me. I will be leaving all the ingredients and measurements down in the description box and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day and bye-bye.